Hello everyone. In this video, I will uh, explain the process that I follow to get the content done through uh, the content service platforms. So this is the second video in the series of uh, how I find content writers and how I get done the content writing for my niche websites. In the first uh, video that I created a couple of days ago, I um, explained the various uh, sources uh, just for the quick uh, summary. These are the three different sources for which I extensively leverage to get the content done for my niche websites. So one is uh, basically the content services platforms where I uh, place an order and I get the content uh, delivered from them. Second one is the Facebook groups uh, where I identify freelancers. Third one is interns from internship platforms. So in this today's video, I am going to talk about the process that I follow to get content done from the content services uh, platforms. So let me uh, get into the details. So as uh, I mentioned earlier, these are the four platforms that I use to get uh, content written for my niche websites. One is buyselltext.com, second one is iWriter, third one is Hire Writers, and fourth one is Fiverr. So more or less uh, the process to place the order is uh, similar for all these platforms but for Fiverr alone there is some additional uh, process that I do before placing the order. The reason is for these three platforms, buy, sell, text, high writer and high, high writer, high writers, I actually submit the order to the platform. So they actually assign that order to one of the writers uh, within the platform. Whereas in Fiverr, I will have to look for the writer and assign place an order for the writer but not on the platform. There is a difference. Actually in, in these platforms also you can assign to the writer but once you establish the relationship with writer and all that at later point of time you can do that. But most of the times we uh, submit the order to the platform, uh, in, to the pool then uh, the platform take, takes care of assigning that and all those things. But whereas in Fiverr we will have to identify writer and place the order. Because of that reason there is some additional process that I perform before placing the order. Let me get into those details. So for Fiverr, so uh, let me talk about uh, the steps that I perform. First one is I look search and uh, search for the writers and also do some filtering and then after that uh, basically the second uh, step is I look for uh, basically so analyze some of the, the writers after I uh, searched and shortlist among the shortlisted uh, writers I do some analysis to identify um, the right fit for my uh, requirement. The third one is I ask them for some samples and then the last step is basically I do a final negotiations on the price also because on Fiverr platform the pricing is not uh, common across uh, uh, all the content or all the orders. Those are basically uh, related to one specific uh, writer. So each writer or each seller has um, the flexibility to offer whatever the price the, uh, the seller uh, is comfortable with. So these are the four steps. Let me quickly take you through those uh, steps and uh, with, an, with an example. So let me go, let's go to the Fiverr. So what we need is a content writing. Uh, let's uh, filter on this content writing. Now, so what, these are the basically the master uh, search results for content writing uh, requirement. So the filters that I normally apply is, so if you go for the category here, there is something, uh, you can see all the categories among this writing, you have a website um, content, you have a creative content, research, technical, but I pick articles and blog posts. This is the category I filter. So I pick this filter and also I normally go for a budget, um, typically, so let me use the USD. So I go for about um, $5 budget to start with. So once I apply these two filters, I get a list of writers who are offering the services um, with respect to articles and blog posts and in the budget of $5. You can see everywhere this is the $5 is there. But it does not mean that they will deliver you $5 for um, the whatever the quantity you are expecting. So this is the first step, the search and filter which I mentioned here. Now what I do is I analyze each of the writers that are appearing. For example, if I take pick this writer. Uh, let us see the number of words this writer offers you about only 100 words, right? So, 100. So, what I normally look for is I look for the writers who are at least offering about a 500 or more words. So, let us look at uh, some more writers. Um, 
maybe how many words this writer is uh, offering so you can see up to 500 words right so this is a potential um, uh, writer for uh, my requirement 500 words straight away they offered in the gig for five dollar so likewise we'll how to basically look at um, uh, each analyze each of these um, writers and see if they fit for our requirement if you see here up to thousand words up to basically they said uh, they will write two pieces of content each of 500 word up total altogether up to thousand words for five dollar this is the gig this is also looking good but their um, offer is they will write two short articles 500 word article but probably we may need a one long article so once this is the one validation i do uh, once i get this um, results of based on the filter search and filter i look at each of the profile what is the quantity they are offering now this particular gig straight away discarded because 100 words for 5 dollar doesn't work for my budget now second validation uh, uh, also that what i verify is i look at since when uh, this writer is active on the platform member is active since 2021 uh, january 2021 already six reviews are there so that means uh, they are active on to the on the platform and getting a good uh, feedback this is good and if you go to this particular um, seller the seller is active again from jan 21 uh, and there are uh, good number of reviews are there this is good but some of the um, the writers uh, most likely they will some of the writers would be active on the platform for long time but uh, their reviews will not be great for example if you see here usually writer is active from uh, very recently only but the ratings are within four ratings you already got 4.8 that means one of the um, buyer would have given lesser rating so this is a doubtful case so i don't um, pick these writers at least to start with so other thing is uh, let me pick one more um, writer and see uh, look, check the validation so let's look into this particular validation the writer is active since july 2020 and uh, only 25 28 reviews are there this is okay but uh, some of the writers i found that they are active on the platform for two years but they delivered only probably 10 or 15 uh, number of articles so that means they are not very active on the platform so i i avoid those kind of writers this is the the preliminary uh, validation i do once i do a filter um, selection and uh, filter and uh, sorting of the the art uh, the writer so this is the first step is search and filter second one is analysis so once i do this analysis then i shortly sum of the writers for example uh, this writer uh, so 500 words so but 4.8 rating i will discard and this writer uh, 1000 words uh, two short articles and uh, very active on the platform so i will shortlist this writer and i need to get into further discussions then basically this writer 500 words uh, for five uh, five dollar active recently this is also a good option so i filter this uh, few uh, writers satisfying this criteria and then the next step is i go for uh, the discussion i ask for samples i pick this uh, contact seller option is there there i ask them to provide me some of the samples uh, from their past work and more very um, if possible i ask them to give me the samples associated with the niche that i am looking for currently i am working on the outdoor living and also um, uh, home improvement related niche so i ask them the specific uh, samples if they have it if they do not have it i ask them to give me some niche samples so one very important thing to notice here is i exclusively specifically tell them not to share any samples related to academics <coughs> travel um, management related writing marketing related writing because i felt and also recipe um, so these uh, niches i feel like there is uh, it is more about articulation rather than getting into the details of the, the topic or the product so because of those reasons i ask them to avoid these kind of samples because those uh, when you go into the the beauty lifestyle uh, outdoor kind of niches the way you need to write you need to think is slightly different from compared to academic uh, travel or management related niches so i uh, discovered this over the uh, uh, experience uh, from the last two years so i felt like the, the content the skills that are required to analyze the, the details are different for these niches so so because of that reason i exclusively ask for the samples related to my own niches or some niches associated with that probably gardening probably maybe some tech devices or um, uh, maybe just adventure sports some of these niches so 
uh, then once I receive the samples, I can uh, make out uh, at least basic their English capability and all those things I can understand by reading through the samples that will be done. Second thing is also uh, are they writing at the surface level or getting into the details or they basically writing a filler content or there is a real meat in the in the content. So, these are some of the, the basic checks that I can uh, perform by looking at the, uh, the, the samples. So, there is a five, uh, I created one video to do uh, to um, perform the content quality a nine point validation I believe or seven point. So, go and check out that video more or less when I receive a sample I go through all those uh, details as well. Okay, so that's the third step. Once that is done, then the final one is negotiation. Negotiation means what it means is so this particular, if you see this writer has said that I offer 500 words for five dollar. So what I do once I like the samples, I ask them, I will give you a bulk order. So I will place maybe three articles or five articles, uh, but um, I want you to give me the pricing of probably a 700 word for five dollar. Uh, that means for each article, I would need about a 1400 or 1500 word. So I will pay you maybe a 10 dollar or 12 dollar gig rather than a 15 dollar. So as per him, 1500 word would be a 15 dollar, but I will tell him that I will pay you only 12 dollar, but I need a 1500 word. But I will place you the, the bulk orders. Most of the times, writers would accept uh, for that kind of a proposal. But first order, I will uh, go with his uh, the writer's pricing. So first order, I will place for the same gig they offered five dollar uh, five hundred word five. That means I will place an article for a thousand word article for ten dollar. But if that comes up well, then I already would have given a heads up to the writer that going forward the bulk orders would be of a discounted pricing. And more often I found the, the writers. Uh, uh, agreeing for that. If not what I ask for, at least there will be midpoint. If I ask for a 1500 word for uh, $10, they may say that, okay, we will deliver a 12, uh, 1200 word for uh, $10, some kind of a negotiation. That's the flexibility on Fiverr, which is not there in any of the other platform. Other pl platforms are prices are almost fixed. So, you will have to pick one of these and go with that because this is a, this is our common across the platforms. Whereas in Fiverr, you can negotiate with each of the, in each individual writer. So, that's the fourth step that I do on Fiverr. Once all these four are done, the next steps are very common. Uh, that's basically going ahead and placing your order. While placing the order, first you need to create brief uh, for your article. Uh, then once this is done, basically then you uh, place your order and then once uh, you receive basically the first draft or, uh, or final article place the order and then finally basically provide the feedback and uh, review that's that's the last step this is common for feedback this is common for all the platforms now the most important thing here is creating brief so this people are not uh, people don't pay a lot of attention towards this but this is very very important wherever you are ordering irrespective of this doesn't matter only uh, this is not limited to only these platforms even if you are ordering content through freelancer or interns also you will have to provide a very detailed uh, brief of your article if the more details you provide in your brief the better content you can expect so lot of writers will actually give a very high level one or two sentence and they expect the writer to understand read through their minds and create the content that's where the gap most of the times gap would be so i will show you one sample of the brief that i created this is one sample so uh, this is the structure the article title is best uh, straight treasure kit for this this is how i provide the brief to my writers if, if uh, uh, irrespective of if I am ordering the content through platforms or to freelancer, this is the level of details I provide, introduction section and then um, pick the product and to pick the product basically what they need to consider and what they need to explain. For each of the section also I provide whatever you see the content, additional content in marked in yellow is additional input. Uh, what I am expecting in this content and some of the uh, some some briefs I uh, write nearly about one and a half page brief also for some of the articles. So that um, level of details that I love to provide wherever it is possible. So this is one of the uh, very important point that you need to focus. While you uh, spend lot of energies to identify writers, it is equally important for you to clearly specifically mention in the brief what you are expecting from the writers. 
So once uh, this is ready, I provide uh, the submit this particular article, this particular brief uh, to the platform, either Fiverr or whatever it is. And then I pick up uh, the cost and word count also. Also, I tell them don't be so rigid with the, the word count, be a little flexible, little less, little more is also fine, focus more on the quality. This is what I normally tell. And uh, once I, uh, if you want to see some more samples of this content structure, uh, please go and check out my playlist uh, that I created few videos about how to create article structure. There are few more uh, structures available, you can um, uh, check those details. And then uh, once this is submitted, writer will actually give us, um, deliver the content um, as per the agreed timelines and all that. I go through them. I apply once again my typical the quality uh, validation checklist and if there are any gaps, I ask them to uh, revise the article, provide me the better content. If everything is fine, I accept it. Most of the times, probably one or two revisions will be good enough. Sometimes uh, it may actually require more revisions depending on uh, how good the article uh, the uh, writer delivered. But good thing about this particular platform is all this for all the in all these platforms your money is secured uh, money will not be transferred to the writer until unless you accept the order and uh, at some point if you are not very happy with the, the content there is a possibility for you to even cancel or uh, reject the order also that that uh, that that means your money is relatively safeguarded so you need not to much worry about this so that's the process i follow um, hope uh, uh, this these details are useful for you uh, if you have any specific questions, please ask in the comment section. I will try my best to answer. That's all for today. Thank you uh, very much for your time. Bye.